That's beautiful. That's a W. This is awesome. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God. Praise hell, praise Dale. Dale was a badass. That is, as they say, a piece. Ka-ching, baby. Yeah. No. Oh. oh my God. No. This is a grill piece. This is a grill. Impossible to find. <laughs> Impossible oh. to find that. Oh. This is not what I expected. This when... next one looks crazy. This veil is crazy. Yeah. Hey, welcome back. This is a different type of video today, as you can tell. Today we are opening a mystery bale, 100 pounds of vintage clothing. Mostly t-shirts. I'm expecting to see some crew necks and jackets, maybe some Carhartt pants, that's a thing in there. We're gonna see. And obviously I have a special guest today. This is my friend, Tony, and he is also a uh, vintage reseller. I'm gonna let him introduce himself. T-shirt enthusiast. T-shirt enthusiast. <laughs> I do the flea market with Nikki, and uh, you know we've met through that, and we've talked a lot about T-shirts and everything like that. And I saw when they were selling these, I caught her live and the whatnot, and I, you know, sent her a message and said, "Are you gonna buy one?" You Tony know, was I the devil on my shoulder to like, like urging me to buy. <laughs> I just was like, if you're gonna do it, I'm gonna live vicariously through you. <laughs> and then she invited me over here, which is even better. So, <laughs> I'm so excited. You know, I'm very excited also yeah. to be here. Thank you for the privilege. Thank I you. I appreciate it. Thanks for coming to hang out and check out this bail. It's gonna be a total mystery. Yeah. And we're, we're gonna see what's in here. Let's yeah. grab the scissors. So here's what the bail looked like when I got it. Corgi for scale. Hi, Grook. A bale in this case is a term for wholesale clothing that is purchased by weight from a rag house, which is essentially a business that deals in bulk textiles. This is one way resellers can affordably source products and keep those items circulating in the market. Well, what you're going to see today is not what I would consider a typical bale. I purchased this from a trusted seller on the Whatnot app, Jam Vintage 956. And this was advertised as a premium vintage bale because items had been handpicked by their experts. And Jam Vintage did give me their blessing to film and discuss this bail because they, for one, believe in the transparency of their business and stand behind their product. But they also wanted me to be able to show the value of their particular bales. So you'll hear Tony and I discuss that at points throughout the video. A huge thanks to Jam Vintage. Please go follow them on Instagram and especially on Whatnot. I will have links in the description box for you. Let's enjoy. Who is that? It's wrestling. I think that's Goldberg. That is Goldberg. Andre Agassi, Ooh. tennis. Do you think Jam wrote a love letter on this? From Chateau. Follow Jam Vintage on whatnot. So obviously we saw, we saw Ooh. Goldberg right on top. Look at this one, wrestling tee. This is so nicely faded. Great fade. Yeah. Looks really soft. Yeah, it's like super broken. In. Wow. That's beautiful. That's a W. Yeah. C W. Mm-hmm. Starting out strong. Yeah. Oh, it's a crew. Yeah. Atlanta '96. I know these are getting more. Olympics. Collectible. People are looking for these things more and more. Every time I get an Atlanta '96, it sells right away. That was a great year for the Olympics. I mm -hmm. have to say, I remember that one. Carrie Strug. Yeah. Vintage LL Bean. It's a nice one. That's a bear. This looks like Ghost Rider. Yeah, I think so. I think that's a movie promo. We have a movie promo. These are highly collectible. They can go for a lot of money, typically. This one from the movie Ghost Rider. Yeah, it's with got the Nick, Mad Engine tag. Nick Cage. Yep, the Nick Cage movie. Yeah, Raging Cage. It's another movie promo. Another movie promo. Oh, man. It's the back on this one. Yeah, the back hit. Lord of the Rings, Return of the King movie promo. With wow. Vigo Mortensen on the back. With Vigo on the back on a Lord of the Rings tag. This one. next one looks crazy. This next one, we have a band tee. Indigo Girls, Ooh. Shaming of the Sun. Toltex tag. It's got that like really chewed up neckline. Some people really, really look for that. As far as like vintage tees having the right amount of distressing. Yep. I love the fade on that graphic too. This is also stuff you can't find at the thrift because they just rag this stuff out and then it just goes and gets recycled to nothing. Yep. Another band. We've got a Jim Morrison Doors. This looks like a bootleg, but it's great. Yeah, that's it's got Hebrew on the you back, know what I'm right? Say, the Hebrew. People are strange. Oh, with the Hebrew doors hit on the front. Whoa! Though. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Can you believe this is in a veil? Like, yeah. That's really special. Ka ching! I know. <laughs> Two banties in a row. Yeah. This looks like Call of Duty. Yeah, what is that? Xbox Live 
Infinity Ward game developer. It's been a while since I played Call of Duty, but I remember Infinity Ward was one of the developers there, so. Wow. Someone's I'm, gonna be able to figure it out. Dude, I actually like that it doesn't have the Call of mm -hmm. Duty hit because this is something you could wear. It kind of could be anything. It's yeah. just kind of a cool graphic. Yeah, you don't look like a bro wearing it. That's yeah, 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 exactly. This one's crazy. <sighs> Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon, North American Tour, 1994. Single stitch, great fade, and looks like good size. Oh man, that's a good one. Yeah. Wow. You do not see this in bales. No. This is not a bale t-shirt. This no. is a premium bale. Yeah. Like, holy cow. Now listen, I was just telling Tony that my husband and I met at a Hooters. Hooters Chick Magnet. I think you're gonna have to give that to him. I think I need to give this to him. This is an, an anniversary present in the yeah. making. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh. This looks like a uh, mountain. Sick mountain yeah. tee with a dragon on it. It's got the leather tag. 2005. Almost vintage. Almost vintage. Almost. Next year. Let's just have an existential closer. crisis about that I for know. a second. I know. <laughs> More band tee. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh. I. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> this is crazy. Did you see that Jam said he put a mosquito head in one of the veils? Yeah. Oh my god. I've only seen, I will cry. <laughs> I've only seen one in person once. Disturbed. That's a great one too. It's a d double sided. Yep, with the tour dates on the back, spreading the sickness. <sighs> That's cool. And these are all good sizes. They're all good sizes. Anyone could wear these. <sighs> this is awesome. <laughs> I'm like, my face hurts right now. I was like, yeah. <laughs> Shit. Eating grin. Yep. Survival of the fittest. Hostra Greek Week 97. Ooh, and a little essential. A little center check Nike. On the white Nike. On the white Nike tag. Yeah. I saw the, um, like a hoodie version of this go for $90 the other day. People are looking for those center so, check ones. Yeah, the center check ones are really collectible right now. You know what that is? This is a band too. Celtic Frost. Oh. Metal band? That like, yeah, I was gonna say, was it some like... Ooh, it's a long sleeve! Oh, dude, the back is sick. <laughs> I can't believe how many band pieces there are. And it said Celtic, Celtic Frost. Celtic Frost, Therion. <laughs> this is cool. Some guy was in the mosh pit wearing this. Some guy sweated his pits off in the pit in this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> ah, wash and wear. <laughs> Paulina Rubio, Latina musician, 2005 tour. Wow, this one's crazy. Yeah. This is crazy. Zootopia 2003. It's got Brittany, Mariah. Holy Christina cow. Aguilera. Is that Jewel? Oh, Jewel's man. on it. Ja Rule. It's got Ja Rule. So the thing that, to remember about teas like this is like, this was a one day event. Yep. They only printed so many of these. This is super rare. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's Brittany, bitch. Look at her. Look at her. <laughs> Steven Tyler is easily the biggest diva in this bunch though. Yeah, yeah. He's got the biggest mouth for sure. <laughs> We've got a Tweety Bird. Have you hugged your Tweety today? Yeah. Adorable. We're that to the beach. In oh, it's some... a rave. This is a rave. This is a 1994 rave shirt. Impossible to find. <laughs> you don't find rave shirts. No. No. Oh my God. That's interesting. So like they wouldn't have sold this as merch necessarily. They could have, but they maybe not. But it could have been made for like the crew, like the staff working the event. I wonder where that was. You can't just like Google it either. Like nope. it's done. It's, Google. <laughs> it's gone to the ether. All right, we got an Auburn piece. It's all AOP with the sleeves hits. Sports ball. Yep. Oh my God. What is this? Just skip past this one. <laughs> I know, f this tee. Let's see <laughs> this under here. Rolling, Rolling Thunder. Thunder 10. Hey, this is a local shirt. Yeah, this is the the Memorial Weekend uh, yeah. bike ride they do in the D.C. area, right? Yeah. And it's a bunch of vets who do this Memorial bike ride. <laughs> Shirt somehow made its way from here to Texas. Wow. And That's that. really cool graphics on that. The graphic is so good. Those are really cool. I don't even know how much something like that's worth, but to me, this is that is is on the level of like some of the three D emblem kind of stuff and things like that. Yeah, to, definitely. To me personally, I mean, it's got a great fade and it's got great graphics on the front and the back. Absolutely. Even though it doesn't have that, you know, something like the three D emblem or anything like that, that's a rare shirt just because, you know, again, like that was a one day event. Oh, more band! Oh my God, more band! One, two, three, band! Mm. We've got the wallflowers. On the giant tag over there. Yeah. And Pink Floyd. 
That is a sick Pink Floyd. 97 tour. Also. Dude, look at the next shirt. Mm. Ah! For all you Swifties, we have a Taylor Swift. It's a tour shirt. It's a tour shirt. These are in high demand right yep. now, as yep. you know, yep. with the Eras tour. Right. Ka-ching, baby. Yep. yep. Another crew neck, 49ers. That's a nice one. That is a nice one. Not Meg. That is, as they say, a piece. Everything's been great out of this. Everything has been a hit. Look at this. Oh, okay. I got a Dragon Ball Z shirt. Disney, Seven Dwarves. Yeah. Who are you? Is it Joker? Oh, it's a graffiti graphic. It's graffiti. They print a lot of the comic book shirts for Marvel and DC and stuff like that. Reggie Bush, Heisman winner. But Tony, what is your favorite type of tea to collect? I'm all over the place. I don't know. I, lately, I've been picking up a lot of trucker shirts. Ooh, I love that. A lot of band shirts. I'm all over the I really like weird stuff. Yeah. Stuff you don't see all the time. Me too. I love an odd ball tea that, like, yeah. I don't know what it means. I, mean, I love your cycle tea. But I got my Seinfeld Kramer shirt on today. I mean, I just like stuff you don't see every day. That's, yes. You know, not necessarily a band or motorcycle, just doesn't even fit in a category. Yeah, exactly. Or if, it, if it's got the right wear or tag or. I'm always looking out for shark shirts. I like sharks a lot. So okay. I, I look for different shark shirt, nature shark shirts and stuff. Let's hope we find a shark shirt in this bale. Maybe tonight. we will. <laughs> Maybe we will. I like two There's so much more. Oh my god. Ohio State. Adidas crew neck. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, I love this one. Yeah. The Simpsons with the Sopranos parody. Another Joker. The Doc Knight. Yeah, another movie promo. Ooh, Rally Week. This is a biker tee. It's a big boy size. Yeah, it is. And the tag on this says nothing else is a Pepsi. Oh. Ooh, more Adidas crew. It's just the white version of the other one. Yeah, just like the other one. Russell Henley hoodie. Magic Kingdom, Disney World. Is that house? Oh, it's Joe Cocker. Wow. <laughs> Is that house? <laughs> These are good for people that want to get into collecting vintage band shirts, but don't want to spend $300 on their first tour shirt and stuff like that, because these are on the lower end of you know, value and everything like that. You know, you were talking about like being interested in mids and stuff. I like that because that's the stuff I'll reach for daily that I'll wear. I'm yeah. not too precious with it because mm -hmm. the value, I don't know. It's like, yeah, if you get some food on it. Yeah. Yeah. Adds value. I'm just having a moment here. This is like, this one looks great. This one looks awesome. I love Iron Maiden graphics. Yeah. Pocket tee for Marlboro. Here's smoke toter. Someone smoked a few cases just to get this. Yeah, that's right. They probably had to sm actually smoke the cigarettes and like turn in the points or whatever. A dead stock, 1995. This is like a parody of those Calvin Klein Calvin ads Klein in the 90s. Ad. There are so many different versions of these. Yeah. My favorite is the Kermit Klein, but this one's pretty great. The I, Kermit the Frog Klein was yeah. really good. I haven't seen this one before. This one's really cool. Tony's eyes lit up when we saw this one. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let Can you show this. Can this go in my pile? Yeah, I'm gonna let you show it. Vintage Ferrari F1 Formula One. Uh, from when they did the uh, Grand Prix in Indianapolis. This one is dated 2001. It's probably Michael Schumacher's car. These are hard to find and uh, you know I don't know what the market is for these but I think it's only gonna go up. It's on a Ferrari tag. Yeah. And Ferrari merch is I think it's yeah. always kind of high-end. Yeah vintage. even people that aren't into vintage stuff you know will wear Ferrari stuff and yep. everything like that. Yeah. That's yeah. how you pick up chicks. A Crazy. new breed of speed. I think this is... Praise uh, Hale, Praise Dale. 1998. So it's Dale Earnhardt Jr., yes. but it's on... It's got Dale Earnhardt Sr.'s number. We could speculate Ooh, wildly. Nice Harley crew neck. This one's I, a really cool color. It is, like this oatmeal color. Mm -hmm. Bill's crew neck. 1991, cool dinosaur dog. Not dinosaur dog. <laughs> I mean, it might be. It's got bones. If it's got bones, it's obviously a dinosaur. Yeah. <laughs> the dead dog, Martha's Vineyard. It's cool art tea. I don't know. This is kind of stuff Manita I can see myself wearing because it's. Uh, I like this color. Yeah. Too. It's just something sort of weird. I have this one on my rack right now. I like this shirt a lot. Oh, you do? Mm hmm. 95. Okay, yeah. I'm loving the look of this one. That's so good. <laughs> look the at Rainbow that. Warrior? Yes! More bills. This looks like it's from the 80s. That's, yeah, this has got to be 80s. Yeah, 80s Fruit of the Loom. Best Fruit of the Loom tag. Yep. Comic Relief Comedy Special. 
with Billy Crystal, Whoopi Goldberg, and Robin Williams headlining. The Robin Williams makes the it. The Robin Williams makes it. Fran Drescher, David Letterman. Queen Latifah. You got everybody on there. What's that? Oh, a jersey. Oh. Oh my God. No! Are you this kidding is casually me? Casually pulling that out. Are you out. kidding me? It's a stone cold jersey. Wow. Licensed everything. <laughs> Oh my god. The back of that's crazy. <laughs> With the big skull. Yes. I've never seen Why that. Why would they make a wrestling jersey? Yeah. That's wild. On the front, you know, where it says WWF. Before it's WWE. Yeah, it's still WWF. This veil is crazy. Yeah. We got Taz. We got a cool Harley. Pikes Peak, Colorado Springs. Oh man, both graphics are great on this one. Great front, great back. Yeah. What year is that? 1999. Raise Hell. Three. Dale Senior is three. That's why that other Dale and was And the other weird. Dale had Junior. It said with Junior, three. but it had the number three on it. So it's like a misprint. I don't know. You're saying it's extra rare and oh. valuable. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> one of one. Andre Arce was the king in like 1990 to 1992. Oh, absolutely. I he was had, a personality. I had Arce models. Yeah. Like. <laughs> I had Arce sneakers and I didn't play tennis like or anything like that. Chicago Bulls. Oh, that's a center swoosh. With the center swoosh. Got a denim jacket with Looney Tunes on the back. Oh. I mean, Disney. Grateful Dead, Miami Dolphins. <laughs> that 90s starter style jacket. Ringer Nike Nike Essential. Yeah. No, this is a grail. What is that? It's Wishbone. What is Wishbone? No. Wishbone was a public television series about a little Jack Russell Terrier who lived the plots of classic novels like Oliver Twist or I have Sherlock no, Holmes. No file on this. It's a literary as f Jack Russell Terrier. I love it. I'm on board with the premise and everything. I just didn't know what Wishbone was. I Sue love, me. I didn't know they made shirts. Yeah. When we were talking about random stuff, this is the kind of stuff I like. It's just weird random stuff. Grail. Yeah. Bleach. Anime. Rod Strickland. Basketball. Single stitch. There you Another go. Another center swoosh. This is the one I saw this go for 90 bucks straight out of the bail. Somebody yeah. else's bail. Alabama. Alabama. I keep thinking these are cut sleeve. Yeah, <laughs> I was the like, way they're folded, yeah, they, they look like they're all cut sleeve. <laughs> it looks like a leather daddy. I love it. Look yeah. at that leather daddy on the back. A Jason Kidd jersey. This is Notre Dame Cruz. Notre Dame well. Crew neck. I love how big the print is on this one. Academia. Academia. I mean, Me, an intellectual. Hey, that's what started Crewnecks, was college names on Crewnecks. That's why they got popular. I mean, like, seven years go. ago. There you go. That's true. Just represent your school. Look at that little handsome mug. Nothing says early 2000s like flames on stuff. <laughs> A matching piece. Oh, yeah, let's, let's do that one first. <laughs> oh my god, more. More Jeff Gordon. Another flame Jeff Gordon. Another. Oh, this one's cool. The front is really cool on this one. Got a Mickey crew neck. Another Harley crew neck. Which is like the classic front hit. In a good size. What is this? Ooh. This is a jacket and it's a suede camel bomber. Man. These <laughs> bombers are really popular right now. Oh man. Look at the lining. The faux silk lining. Camels. How many packs did you have to smoke oh, to get this one? A truck. <laughs> this was at the back of the catalog where the expensive points <laughs> Yeah. This is a Winterland. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Ooh. Ba, ba, ba. Man. 2001 Odyssey Tour. So I thrifted a 2001 in Sancti, different one, but on a Winterland the other day. And when I got to the register at Goodwill, I was like, look what I found. And the yeah. young woman working there was like, who is that? And I was like, oh, oh man. Oh, Oh, I love this. Does it have Slowpoke on there? It has Slowpoke. Oh, uh, Slowpoke's the best. Yes. And Slowpoke, you never see him. Another Hooters tee. Dude, this bail was made for me. Yep. <laughs> These Habitat shirts are some of my favorites to collect for nature Thank tees. Because they've got the great screen printing, big graphics, colorful, and like 
best animals. I've never even seen the otters. And this guy's got even a sea urchin on the front. That's a great shirt. What's the cutest animal in the world and why is it the uh, otter? <laughs> Another Jeff Gordon tee. Yeah. <laughs> More band. It's a great band shirt too. Yeah. Uh, 90s Y2K Metallica. Yeah, exactly. On a Tennessee River gold tag. Ah, oh, Bugs Bunny River Rafting? Changes the changes tag. tag. Who's sailing? sailing? Who knew? Jinx on that, yeah. Yeah. Harley hoodie. Got a cowboy's Ooh. crew neck. Be careful with that one. <laughs> Look, these are the shirts from the 90s that people forget about that used to be everywhere. Yes. Let's see that. I want that. I you know, know you want this. <laughs> That's amazing. Super Bowl Redskins and Je uh, Bills. I have the hat. Really? Yeah. Actually, would you mind? Yeah. The Zubaz hat. Yep. I just picked up this hat. The same Super Bowl. Wow. Yeah. The 90s Zubaz. Uh... Yeah, the bill on that is mm -hmm. so great. That's for Tony. Yeah. I'll wear it this Sunday and watch them lose. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Nike, That's whatever. It's a Nike shirt. <laughs> well, this one, we've got to get to this obituary. Some sludge, death metal. Amazing. <gasps> Cause of death. Ooh, to that's a gorgeous print. Okay, it's another just a, habitat. It's just a habitat rainforest. I thought it was Rainforest Cafe, but yeah, it's a wraparound, so it's got the print on the back too. It's actually from Bush Gardens. There's a sleeve hit. Oh really? That's, yeah. Oh yeah. There you go. Bush Gardens on the sleeve. Yeah. Um, it's giving me Ben Affleck in uh, air vibes. Wait, in air? Oh, okay. I thought you meant this no, rabbit not. was like Ben Affleck. That's totally Ben. This is totally Ben Affleck on here. Oh, it's a crew. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. The Mighty Mighty Boss Tones. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh, I have been going back and listening to that record like yeah. a bunch like this past summer. It's great like fun summer music. Like They were in Clueless. They were in Clueless. Yeah. yeah. This is Loki. This is one of my favorite pieces we pulled. Do, yeah. do we still collectively forget the 90s swing revival that happened? Do we just... Those Gap commercials that like wrecked us all for half a decade. Yeah. I had a girlfriend make me take swing dancing classes. <laughs> I believe you did. Another, another one. Another Adidas Different crew color. In a different color. Ooh, a hockey this is jacket. the starter jacket. This was the essential starter jacket in the 90s was the pullover. Hooters, Greensboro, North Carolina. There you go. More than a mouthful. Nice single stitch, good fade. Ooh, Metal T, Blind Guardian, 2010. Benny <gasps> the, yeah. <gasps> Literally, was this this bail could have been like picked for me personally? There's like metal tees, there's yeah. Hooters, oh, and Nike, and Jeff Gordon. Adidas crew neck, and so much Jeff Gordon. A lot of <laughs> Cannibal Corpse. That's a good one. Yeah, I just sold this shirt on Saturday. So, what do you think the value is of this shirt, Anvil Blue Bar? So this is a reprint, but probably about fifty bucks, forty to fifty. That's uh, late eighties, early nineties. It's like a jogging Nike jacket because it's got the vent in the back and everything like that. For your jogging needs. Yeah. <laughs> Green Adidas. That's five now. 2003 NASCAR. Star Stripes and Speed. It's a tour? Well, because like they do a race in a different town every week or oh, whatever. Oh, okay, right? okay. So I think they're trying to make it like a make, make it sound like similar a tour like it's like a tour. Yeah. Very American. America, and America always wins That's at right. NASCAR. Mm -hmm. That's the thing world champions so. some classic prog rock for oh, you yeah, dream, dream theater. theater this is an all-over print map Ooh, cape cod of cape cod cartography grail for all the wasps that are watching that, you, know, <laughs> want, you know your aop to wear to the country club <laughs> well yes we've got a house on the cape yeah, we, we here. summer here we summer here taz who doesn't like taz taz is great that was the best Oh, Lion King bomber jacket. Okay. Looks like a promo, but it says Disney Store tag. Yeah, from the Disney Store. Damn. Oh, yeah. We got the Heartogram. Ooh. That's cool. That's really cool. 1994 Bills. Another year they lost the Super Bowl. <laughs> what is that? Fast and Furious. That's bonkers. That's crazy! Like the first original movie promo? Is that what it is? Yeah, with the Toyota Supra on it. Paul Walker's Toyota Supra. Oh, no way! Impossible oh. to find that. Impossible. Can't find it. I 
but I want this in my size. It Me looks too. so small. Dang, that's I good. was into that non-ironically back then, <laughs> and you couldn't find merch. Oh, man. This is crazy. It's another NASCAR jacket. Yeah. NASCAR jacket. Kenny Irwin. Ooh. Left turns. Ooh. Ooh, look at all of those colors in this graphic. Yeah. Las Vegas wraparound print. Oh, San Seagal. See, a lot of the destination travel tees, people don't, you know, they're, they're not really that desired, but I think this is a, kind of a cool one. Yeah, Branson, Missouri tees always go way harder than they should. <laughs> Another Bills. Three Stooges curly tee. Ooh. Oh, Bud Man. Wow, that is crispy. 1990, it's pristine. Ooh. This was like never Wait. washed, never worn. Evil oh, Superman. 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 Evil Superman. This are, have you watched The Boys? Yes. <sighs> We're say The Boys. Oh. No. This is a grill piece. <laughs> this is a good one. Well, this is a promo from the 98 Matthew Broderick movie. Yeah, 1998. Is that what yeah, it was? Yeah, 1998. But with that wash to it and everything, that's something that's... That's you know, so cool. That's a really cool Simpsons one. Simpsons Kiss parody. Yeah. That's a good one. Is this a radio station? No, it's Cornell. Oh. <laughs> that Ivy League. I need to look at these like head on first. R.I.P. Dale. Dale. The Dale Memorial Rap I, tea. It's a companion piece with the um, airbrushed one. <laughs> Run with the best or die like the rest. There is a big competition between Dale, the old guy and then the newcomer Jeff Gordon. You had to choose a side. I this one apparently chose Dale. Yeah, yeah. Based on the way the blood is dripping down onto Jeff Gordon. Dale was a badass. <laughs> Jeff Gordon was a uh, goody two shoes. He's a pretty boy. Yeah. Yeah. What is this? Bulls, Bulls jersey. Yeah, baseball jersey. The Cowboys crew neck. I'll keep it far from you. No, it's fine. I'm just kidding earlier, but yeah. <laughs> More Simpsons. We got Homer. Yeah. What's on Hilmer's mind? Sleep, donuts, and Moe's Tavern. That's really good. <laughs> Isn't that a little velour piece here? Yeah. What is, is like that? Kangle or something? Oh. <laughs> what? This is not what I expected for Carhartt. This is a velour Carhartt zip up. For the ladies. Ooh, oh, that's dope. Rugged outdoor wear Carhartt, but it's like velour is the most velour. rugged material to wear outdoors. Yeah, just your basic velour workwear. This is what Tony Soprano would wear as workwear. <laughs> I'm gonna go cut wood in this. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> this is hilarious. Oh, it's a crew too. Yeah. Woody Woodpecker Woody just. Woody Woodpecker. Got coffee. Just hates mornings. I mean, is there anything more relatable? Early 90s when Woody had his revival. Yep. What? All right, we're at the bottom. We've made it. You have to do like a uh, little capsule collection for people or something. This is the last. last this piece. is your love note. There's another love note from Jam Vintage. Another Nike Center check. Ooh. There you go. That's money. Yeah, that was great. Now I got a lot of laundry to do. I know. Wash and wear. <laughs> Wash and wear. <laughs> Straight from the rags. So I've sorted uh, my tees and everything into stacks here in my office. These are movie promos. These are the nature and art pieces. This is sports. There's Harley and biker pieces. This is Disney cartoon, anime, Marvel, and Looney. Disney cartoon, etc. NASCAR. These are all banned. And then a couple of wrestling pieces. And then this stack is random, including a couple of the blanks, Hooters. There's a couple like cigarette promo, college pieces. 
Well y'all, thanks for joining me for this bail opening. If you enjoyed that, I have really good news for you coming up next. First, I just wanna say thanks again to my friend Tony from Random Retro Resale who shared opening this bail with me and was willing to sit here and film and go through the pieces with me. Everyone, please go give his vintage shop, Random Retro Resale, a follow on Instagram. I'm gonna link it here. And if you are in the DMV area, you can catch them at live events throughout the year. And of course, another huge thanks to Jam Vintage for putting together this amazing premium bail for giving your blessing for me to film it and talk about it for your amazing work in the vintage community and for your awesome level of transparency with uh, the value that you provide in these bales and kind of how your process works. Everyone, you definitely need to follow them on Instagram and especially on Whatnot. They are live streaming straight from their rag house all the time with a variety of different shows. They are sort of the pioneers of the games and like fun vintage shows that have gone on and whatnot for the last couple of years. Definitely follow them again. I will link all of that below for you. I'm also wanted to let you know that I am going to be running on whatnot all of these pieces that you saw in the bail video today. I'm gonna to be running $1 auctions. I'm gonna have a full bin. There's going to be a game that's involved lots of giveaways and it's just gonna be a really really fun way to do this and even if you saw this video there's still going to be fun surprises in store for you so please come join and hang out if you are new to whatnot as always you know you can use my link again my invite link will give you a $15 credit to use on your first purchase anywhere on the app in any case I really appreciate you all being here your support in each and every way it means so much thank you I will be back next week with a new thrifting adventure Trying to pull my favorites. It's such a shame that this is a size small. I know. The food is alien. I, yeah, that's really random. It's so weird. There's a huge cross section yeah. for that. The Venn diagram of that is just a circle. It's just a circle. Oh, the wishbone, of course. Yeah. This just like took me back. I'm like, oh, let me pull my favorites. There's like 10 right here. Like, okay. I mean, you're gonna have to like do a pile, then another pile. <laughs> yeah. It's got a butt. Oh, oh no. It's got three butts. Let's see if they go.